secondhand embarrassment with second chance romance. Let's find love. Maybe. No. Well, let's find something. Yeah, answers. Right. Or herpes. Yeah. Oh, oh, Valtrex. It's yeah. handy. It's handy. Comes in a stick now. Anyway, <laughs> a roll on stick. Yeah. Oh. Huh. Um, who do we, Holly, who do we have first? Madison. Oh, what a great name. Hi, Madison. Hi. I love your name. Hi. Oh, thank you. I love it. How are you doing? You. I'm, I'm doing okay. I mean, I'm kind of confused about what's going on because I really like Brandon, but uh, hoping you can help. Well, that's our goal that's is do. to help you. At the very least, we can at least provide answers. So, um, well, that's good. Yeah, Madison, go ahead and tell us about your date with Brandon, if you would, please. Okay. Um, so I met Brandon while I was out with some coworkers for happy hour, and you know, I was doing my thing, he was doing his thing, and uh, he was also at a happy hour with colleagues, and we just kind of bumped into each other at the bar, and then our group started mingling, and he and I just we hit it off. I'm like, Oh my God, this guy was really cute and funny. So when we agreed to meet up later on, I was really excited. Okay. It sounds like you are. Okay. Okay. So did you, so did you meet up later? Did you guys go on a date? We did. We did. And we went out to dinner and he was just such a nice talk. Like I've been so disappointed in men recently and I haven't really been able to connect with anyone, but Brandon, I don't know. He's just impressive, you know, like in a, oh, I've got word. my poop in a group kind of way, you know, really refreshing. Oh, oh. okay. That's nice and pro and Honestly impressive. Ever. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> well, he's ghosting. So we always have to ask, I mean, was there something that happened that might be facilitating that or someone weird show you up know, or <laughs> someone weird show up? <laughs> I don't know. It could be yeah. anything. We've done this a long time. Did Nicolas Cage dressed as long legs show up? Oh. I mean, that would be scary. <laughs> oh, I'm just joking. I'm kidding, Madison. Pennywise shows up to the date. The Babadook. <laughs> yeah. No, nobody, nothing weird. No, I mean, none of those people showed up, I promise. Um, <laughs> but I did. I, I, I thought about it so many times. I played it in my head and. I don't think I was scary or smelly or, I don't know, otherwise unsavory. I mean, maybe I'm just not his type. Uh, even if I'm not, I just feel like we should reconnect. And, you know, I've been ghosted before, um, sadly, but I'd like to think maybe just because it's summer and he's been busy, it's why he hasn't been reaching out. So, yeah, that could be it. Uh huh. At any point, at any point, because it sounds like there was a groove, but Madison, at any point, did you feel like you were at the friendship salad bar? Ooh. I mean, not that I could think of. Conversation kind of flowed the whole time. So, yeah, I didn't feel like friendship vibes. Okay. I, I really didn't. Yeah, I thought we connected. No friend croutons. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, None of that. Okay. Well, Madison, here's what we're going to do. We're going to put you on hold at this point. You're going to be able to hear everything next. Uh, and what's next is we're going to talk to Brandon. Brandon has been told that he has been nominated to be on our show by a family member or friend. He doesn't know why. He certainly doesn't know that it's about you. So hold on, okay? He's heard nothing. Okay. 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 All right. By the way... By the way, I miss Ruby Tuesday salad bars. I'm just going to throw that out there for okay, the universe. Those rye croutons out there? Oh my God, those okay. rye croutons are so good. <laughs> I'd be fine being it. at the friendship salad bar if, yeah. if it was filled with those. Right. I miss oh. that salad bar so much. Yeah. Anyway. Okay. Oh, but, well. Yeah, that's not why we're here. But go ahead. Let's put Brandon up. <laughs> Brandon? Hello. How you doing? All right. And you? Good. This is uh, Sears. We're wondering if you would like some extended warranty on your roof. Yeah. 
I'm just joking. Um, I'm, I'm kidding. Yeah, my partner uh, probably. Yeah, does. I'm kidding. Do you need a anyway. craftsman tool set? Yeah. Um, Maybe just some siding on my apartment. Perfect. We'll, we'll, we'll hook you up with that. Uh, anyway, no, this is uh, Jason and Alexis in the morning. You're now live on our show. Thank you for agreeing to, to be on our radio show. We, we acknowledge that this isn't normal f- for a Thursday morning for you. I'm, I'm assuming, Brandon, this isn't normal for you, right? <laughs> no, I mean, no. my family said that they had nominated me for something. And that, so, I yeah. Mean, they don't, yeah, they don't normally like go out of their way for me, but whatever. Yeah, well, this is what they did for you. Yeah, this is, uh, so let me tell you, this is called Second Chance Romance. What your family didn't tell you, what your family didn't tell you was this, or what we didn't tell you was this. You were nominated for a very specific reason. Um, uh-huh. uh-huh. This segment is called Second Chance Romance. It's a segment where we reunite people, where we reunite people that went on a date. So we have somebody, we have somebody, Brandon, that wants to reunite with you that really liked you. Okay. All right. Well, it's, uh, do you remember Madison? Oh, I mean, yeah, I remember Madison. She's, she was really nice. Okay. Buddy, it's our understanding that after the first date, there was nothing. And Madison really liked you. Was there a reason why you didn't pursue anything? Oh man! Um, and say what oh, you want, man. Say what you want, or because you're on, you're live on the, sh- you know. So say, say what you want. Right, don't say well, what you want. Yeah, no. Look, I mean, honestly, I, I just don't think it's like a, a we're a good fit. You know, like I don't know. Like I, I just don't see that we're on like the same path. If that makes sense. Um. Like, well, what do you mean? Yeah. What do you mean? Well, look. So we went on a date and I happened to be early. So I was there. I see her get dropped off and like, I see her like hugging the driver. So I thought it was like a little odd. So I asked who it was and she told me it was her mom. And I was like, okay, like, what well, is your car in the shop or like, you know, is something up with it? And she was like, no, it's just straight up. Like I don't drive. Hmm. Oh, yeah. that is kind of odd in Minnesota. It, just in gen- like in some major cities, sure, maybe you can get along without late like, driving, but like in not here. Twenties, like I, I have to drive for my job. Yeah. So I just thought it was kind of odd, and then I was like, maybe she had something. Like I don't know, maybe there's some reason, and she just simply said she wasn't interested in learning to drive. So it was just something like that. That was just a. A good old fashioned turn off. Well, don't you think that's weird that like you have just no interest in driving, like getting from point A? And what if there's an emergency, like any of those things? It's just like a, I mean, it's not like a deal breaker, but it's definitely like in that sort of beige flag area. And so, mm. okay, like if we go on a road trip, like she's not going to drive. Like, like look, it's just like. Maybe she just doesn't have any initiative. I don't know what it is. Yeah, she, well, it's well, not the fact that she just doesn't drive. It's that she's just not even interested in learning how to do it. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I think it's odd to, like, not have driven to this point, but then to still be like, I just don't care to, and I'm just going to go through life not driving. Like, Well, here's the deal. We, we can find out why. Because, Brandon, you've leveled with us, and now we're going to level yeah. with you. We're going to level with you. Madison obviously gave us your contact info, not your family. And Madison is on the other line. She's I know all of this. It's a, yeah, Brandon, it's, this is Alexis's idea. So it's, yeah. Anyway, uh, let's go and put Madison up. <laughs> Bus, well, Alexis. How I thought this would turn out. Hi, Madison. Oh. Ma- Brandon, say hi to Madison. Uh, hey Madison. Yeah, I didn't think it was surprise. I didn't think it was gonna go like this either. I thought it was getting some sort of award or <laughs> I mean, yeah, no, it's me. I, I just don't understand why I'm getting ghosted. I mean 
I can't believe you're saying this stuff. It's, it's really not a big deal. Like plenty of people do not drive. I don't know why. Yeah. Plenty of people don't drive. Me. Sure. What a good time together. Yeah. Like the people who don't drive tend to be like too old to drive or too young to drive. Like it's just odd. Like I have a company car, like, you know, I get it. It's fine if you don't want to do that, but like, you're not even interested in like trying or learning how to drive. You didn't even take driver's ed. Like, okay. you have to rely on your parents or other people to get around. It's just like, well, like, I mean, that's why Uber exists. That's why my parents are around. Like, who cares? Who? I, I think you're making such a big deal out of it. Seriously. Well, I mean, <sighs> here's here's the deal. Alexis has something she wants to say to you. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I'll, I'll jump in this time, friends. All right. Hey. <laughs> Under the bus again. No, it, it is my turn. So, um, yeah, we have a whole stack of gift cards. Big stack. To restaurants here that uh, we'd love to Bad give you place. to uh, go on a second date. Mm-hmm. And just wondering if you guys are game for that. I don't know if things have changed for you, but Brandon, what say you? Uh, I mean, no, I think she just like, you know, it's not like anything. She's nice and all, but like there's someone out there for her, I'm sure. But like, it's just, we're not a good fit. If she has like no interest in even like learning new things or like trying stuff, like it's just, okay. It says it all to me. Okay. Yeah. It's just like, yeah. Not a match. Yeah. Thank you, Brandon. Thank you, yes. Madison. Sorry, Madison. Yeah. Sorry, Madison. It's fine. Honestly, I agree. We're we're not a yep. match. I can't be with someone who's judging me like that. So it, it's fine. We're we're not a fit after all. Uh, thanks a lot, no. Brandon. Thanks, guys. Can move okay. along. Okay. Yeah. Bye, yeah. everybody. It's it's like okay. Yeah. Thanks, guys. For sure, man. Remember, everyone. All water parks are fifty percent to pee. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for uh, our, uh, what is it? A princess passenger? Mm-hmm. And you never know. There could be some other things she didn't want to share that was also a deterrent for her to learn to drive Maybe. specifically. Yeah, some trauma there. Second chance romance. Speaking of trauma, <laughs> you know what trauma is? This damn segment. <laughs> The segment is trauma. Hubbard really should give us extra money for just this 15 minutes, really. Oh, yeah. Hazard pay. <laughs> Do these gift cards expire at some point? We haven't been sitting here a while. I don't know. We have, we have gift cards to Ruby Tuesday. <laughs> I mean, yeah. We have we give so few of these away. We have gift cards to Rex. And uh yeah. Oh my and to, God, Highway 13. And Kenny Rogers Roasters. Oh, yeah. And Arthur Treachers. <laughs> and the it's Montgomery a- Ward Cafe. Oh. oh. <laughs>